today we're gonna update this. Hey class, Mr. G here, your online professor. We are going over some new material. Today's project is over mark making. What is mark making? Mark making is where we're taking a piece of paper and we're trying out some different handmade tools on the paper with some different mediums, paint uh, specifically, and seeing what it does on the paper. So that's really the, the big concept. It's really not, not difficult. All right, so here's the project that we're drive, diving into. Now for my classes, you guys are making five different tools. Now I'm making five different tools here in the video and these are quick. I'm not really thinking too far about it. I really want you guys to explore, experiment with materials that you guys have around you. If you guys have stuff around the house, use it to make your different tools for your mark making processes. And we're gonna dip them in paint and see what we can do because just drawing with a normal pencil is boring and it's been done. We wanna do something new, something creative, something inventive. Case in point, a pencil. We hold it like so. And I, I had a discussion with, with a student today. We were talking and he was like, Mr. G, uh, how do you hold your pencil? And like, what, what do you feel is, is comfortable? And that got into a whole conversation of like, I like to hold it like this, cause like my arm's straight. He was holding it like this. Uh, somebody over on the side says that they hold it like this or like this, or you, you get the drill. There's a bunch of different ways that you can hold a pencil. But there's also a bunch of different ways to make a mark on a page. If I'm teaching my drawing classes, there's a couple different ways that I teach you guys how to hold a pencil, which is uh, when you're holding it, you're holding it delicately. There's a lightness to it. So as you're making the mark across the page, it's not ground into the paper. You don't wanna grind that graphite into the paper because then you can't erase the mark very easily. When I'm drawing, I keep it nice, loose, lots of dash lines to them. If I'm making larger spaces, I'll hold the pencil closer to the end of it so that I got a nice wide arc with my design, with my lines. Making these lines and how we apply line and a mark to a piece of paper is very important because it, it shows uh, energy that we are trying to display. We're trying to show emphasis to a specific section of the page. So keep that in mind as you guys are making the marks on your own paper. A couple things that I, I went outside. I went outside and I grabbed some some leaves or some sticks. Uh, I went and to the cafeteria and grabbed the the utensils I used to call silverware. That was when we had metal spoons and knives in uh, school. Uh, who remembers that? Put that down in the comments below. If you were in school and you had silverware, uh, that that's a, that takes you back. And, I'm, and a couple different toys as well. Now, using these different things, I'm gonna decide what is going to make a mark. You know what I like? I like the minions. Why? Because they're funny. Using the boots of the minions to walk across the paper to create a mark on the page is, is just a simple idea. I've taken some yarn on uh, or twine, depending on where you're from, wound it around some pine needles, cut the pine needles, because I want a little bit of an edge to my brush that I made and, and dipping in a little bit of paint, making that mark across the paper, because how does that look? Gives you kind of a dry brush technique. Why? Because, well, I didn't dip it in water first, I just dipped it in the paint. So these are things to experiment with on these mark making designs. Now for my project, you're doing this as a finishing off of some notes that we did the week before with elements and principles of art. I hope that I've gotten that video done and, and out to you guys. If not, it's on the way, so stay tuned to uh so to something cool and, and let me go ahead and uh toss this out ahead of time just don't forget if you uh like and subscribe all that fun stuff because you know I like to educate more people uh we'll wrap that we'll go back over that at the end of class as well but today going over that mark making test out different methods test out different processes and see what we can make see what you can do to create different fun fascinating lines across the entire paper now big thing for me is make sure that you're taking up the whole expanse of the paper don't leave any white paper unchecked put some marks on it let's see what you guys can do i i even finger painted at one point why because it's fun if you if you are, are finger painting that stuff does stain so don't get it on your clothes um fy uh specifically i'm using acrylic paint for this and it's fine it washes off a little bit of soap and water but my finger you can see a little bit of red still on it my finger will probably be stained for the next 24 hours that's the shortest thing I've ever been stained. I got a tattoo and that's gonna be on for a while. Again, keep it interesting, keep it fun. You know, uh, experiment, that's what this entire process is for. Uh, experiment in your sketchbooks, experiment on the paper, experiment with wherever you're putting these designs down uh, to see what you can do, how you can be inventive, how you can be creative. That's 
the goal of the project at, at, at its at its core. Uh, be experimentative and and figure out what these things do because the more that we engage, the more that we know, the more that we try and strive and drive and do something else, more interesting stuff that is, that's out there for us. So. Wrapping up today's class as we always do, don't forget to like, subscribe, share all the various platforms, get the message out there to as many teachers, friends, students that we possibly can. Why? Want to educate the masses, get edu everybody smarter. That is my goal here. Uh, don't forget that if you guys have a question, comment, or concern, raise your hands in the comments below. Happy to answer those questions from my classmates. It's been a week. I'm tired. And it's hot. It's hot in the south. I need more AC. I need more air conditioning. I'm going to go cool off. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. So, see you guys later. Have a good one, guys. Later.